Hey everyone, um, I thought I would just check in with you because I have not been vlogging for a couple of days. So it is Friday. It's Friday and it is 8.29. I don't know if my watches are wrong. I don't know what's going on with my watches. Anyway, it's 8.29 and oh, if you're new to this channel, welcome to my channel. My name is Nandipa welcome welcome and i do hope you stay and you subscribe if you're a regular thank you so much for coming back i always appreciate your support and love you so 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 much okay so just to check in it's actually in the evening like i said um i'm doing everything late today i'm busy making dinner something's on my camera okay, sorry okay never mind I'm busy making dinner. I know it's late usually by this time we're done eating. We try to eat by 6, 6.30 the latest. But today we had a late lunch. So everything is just becoming later. And also um, it's been a uh, kind of like a busy day. I'm just trying to get everything ready um, for tomorrow. So I've got all my paperwork. I'm sort of like packing. I don't need to pack really. So I'm making sure that I've got all the paperwork that I need. I've got my checklist. I've got everything that I need printed out. Um, literally everything that I need for tomorrow. Tomorrow I am flying to New York. I'm going to do a visa. I have a visa appointment for tomorrow in New York. So um, I'm not even going to stay there. I'm literally flying. My flight is early in the morning. Um, so we have to leave here around 4 o'clock. So we can get to the airport on time and then yeah i fly on the same day and then my appointment is tomorrow morning afternoon actually tomorrow afternoon get my appointment and immediately fly back again the same day so it's not like i'm staying in new york so i don't really need anything i just need my paperwork um, and that's it make sure I have my passport I'm trying to make sure that I've got everything so I've got my checklist I'm getting my clothes out that I'm gonna wear for tomorrow morning so I need to be set and get everything ready because when I get up early in the morning I don't want to be rushing and thinking where is this and where is this when is this I just want to be ready so yeah that's pretty much it um, that's literally all that's been happening today I've just been trying to get everything ready oh oh my god good morning Okay, so it is six o'clock and we are now boarding I'm at the airport. I actually arrived at 4.30 at the airport, so I've been here for a while. And now I'm just waiting for my group number to be called and then yeah. Good morning. actually the first time I'm flying into this airport. I love the hoses in here. I'm in La Guardia Airport. Yeah, I think that's what it's called, La Guardia in New York. It's cool, I love it. Wait. I don't like video rising, but okay. This is actually a nice airport. I've never been to it.
have arrived, I'm in Manhattan. I found the place, the traffic was horrendous. I'm glad I came early. Now I'm just walking around because I'm like an hour and a half early. This is my view so far. Um, yeah. horrendous the uber was supposed to take 25 minutes we literally took double the time now i'm a little bit nervous with what's happening on the street because i have to be there in an hour i literally have an hour i don't have room as soon as i run out of here i have to get an uber where is it going to stop i have no idea with what's happening now i actually need to find out I actually need to find out before coming in, otherwise I'm going to be late for my flight, so... Yeah, traffic in New York is not even funny. Anyway, let me go hunt. Okay, I'm just waiting for my time. My appointment is at 12.30 and it is 11.57. I'm going to go in five minutes. At 12 after, uh, 5 after 12, so I can be a little bit early. I am nervous. I'm nervous about a lot of things. I hate visa interviews and also mostly nervous about my flight getting in Uber. For my flight, I'm not gonna lie, I'm really nervous. I've just been walking around though, town. I'm actually nervous. Hey, oh, so close. Oh, I like that, yeah the sunscreen but it's it's leaving a cast gray cast on my on my face so hi guys welcome back to my channel so it is the next day let me give you an update on what happened yesterday so i went for my visa right i went in like hours early and then i go in and the guy's like oh what's your name yeah oh, okay go up to the 35th floor when there's like no you in the wrong wrong place this is not um the consulate you must go to another place i'm like okay where oh uh, just, just give me the address and then and you know vague i'm like okay so how where is it again? never mind so i i run so i go downstairs i met the security guy and i was like listen this is the wrong address i need to be here and he's like oh it's not far it's just down you know 10 minutes obviously because i i went in early I'm like okay cool so I go there fair enough got there way ahead of my time sign up and show me where to go yo guys my appointment was at 12 was for 12 30 right what they on time so I go in it's a mixture of everyone it's like a Schengen visa place so there's people from everywhere 
look wanting to um for interview for all the Schengen places look like literally people from the way there people from France, those Latvia, Netherlands. It was just a bag of chips, a mixture of everybody. It was packed. Packed, packed, packed. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna see how this works. And then they like they call out numbers. It says like how many people? Seven like nine people helping, right? Seven nine booths of people helping. Call. And then they call up by numbers like they've got different letters for each country like for france it will start with the f r or whatever and then if, if in latvia it starts with an l you know kind of things like that there were so many people from different places when i tell you that place was packed that place was packed and there were a lot of people and i was like okay i'm see how this goes now mind you me right my appointment is at 12 12 30 so you know when they you make the appointment it says 12 30 until 1 so you're under the impression you are under the impression by one o'clock you'll be done like okay 30 minutes that's what it says here right first of all i had booked my flight for two o'clock i decided to change it to make it later i'm like okay cool i'm glad i did okay listen 12 30 comes uh -uh, son. that's not how it works and I talked to this woman, I'm like, listen. And then she's like, oh yeah, yeah, you just, you, you wait, number will be called and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, this is not helping. I'm like, okay. And then there was this guy sitting next to me. He was like, oh, I've been here for over an hour. I was like, sorry? He's like, yeah. I was like, what time was your appointment? I was shook, I was shook. I was like, oh, this is not going so well. So I spoke to this woman again, I was like, listen, you know, I have a flight and blah, 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 blah. And the guy next to me is like, yeah, I've been here for such a long time. I've been waiting and nothing's happening. So this woman is like, okay, I'll make sure that the two of you are next, right? Cool, no problem. Like I didn't want any special treatment. I mean, you can't say 12.30 and then you get everybody else sitting here. And you know, I was like, okay, let's see what happens. Guys, I went in at 1.40. 140 that's more than an hour after my assigned appointment right 140 so he goes on this guy goes on he's really helpful though he was really really helpful takes all my paperwork and like okay see so you got everything and blah 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 and then they're like, obviously they're like okay so we'll take your passport and i had read that um if you want your passport you just tell them straight beforehand that you want your passport back because obviously i need the passport to fly back hello and then you can send the passport to the consulate to the embassy i was like okay cool so i told him that it's like okay no problem and then it's like okay so next you have to take your fingerprints now what annoys me is that when you're on the application they ask you if you've had your fingerprints you know taken for a schengen visa before and i had mine literally when five weeks ago is it five? five literally five weeks ago five weeks ago i had my fingerprints done for a schengen visa when i literally was in spain five just five weeks ago and i had to go through again so why ask me on the on the form if you had your biometrics done for a schengen visa if you're gonna do it again and then they're like oh um it's the wrong photographs and everybody's there everybody like literally everyone that was there they had wrong photographs if you are going to Norway, different so many people they're like oh a lot of people come here with the wrong photographs so you have to take your photographs i'm like okay so how long is it gonna take us like, oh, no long 10 15 minutes maybe oh you have to go and sit down i'll wait and sit down sana i watched two o'clock two thirty i was like i hey, forget it like uh, the latest minutes like okay forget it I was supposed to be at the airport by then and i'm still sitting here call whatever so i call the people like um i called uh, american airlines it's like oh um there's nothing we can do you just have to go when you get to the airport you just speak to the people at the desk i'm like okay quite fine no problem so i wait eventually i go in for my biometrics and they take a picture again and they're like oh you're done three o'clock i was done three o'clock i was done 
so disorganized so disorganized why and they say it's so funny because and that appointment sheet they say they don't take more than seven people or something maximum I'm so sorry but <laughs> anyway so I missed my flight I missed my flight so I was like you know what now I'm not gonna stress about it I'm not gonna panic because there's nothing literally I can do right now yo the sunscreen is, is sorry I have to look at myself the sunscreen is I can see it I don't know if you can see it but anyway it's a great sunscreen but it's just leaves that grayish cast over me anyway so I'm like okay fine don't stress um, then I call my husband I'm like listen this is what's happening he was like well there's nothing you can do um, just see what happens when you get to the airport don't stress about it you know just take it as it comes I'm like okay cool so I get to the airport a long queue and then I'm like speak to this guy from um, again and says like, oh yeah just stand in the queue and then you speak to the to one of the uh, customer service girls I'm like okay cool I go there and I'm like hey I missed my flight it's like oh let's see um, so what can be done now oh mind you me when I called they said there's nothing you can do you'll have to buy a new flight because blah 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 this is a different I took the cheapest ticket I took the cheapest ticket because why am I going to be on the same flight with everybody else and then still pay more money when there's a cheaper price like why so you used that against me anyway I was like okay I was even looking online to see how much the flights are and I was like okay they were not bad a hundred and something but it's just like why am I gonna pay I was like oh and don't stress so when I spoke to this girl um, I was like okay so here, here's the thing I missed my flight and it's like oh what happened is like well this has happened blah blah blah, blah. and so like, okay let me have a look and see what we can do for you so she da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da, she looks and she's like okay you're going to be on standby I was like, oh, God. It's like good luck um, there was another flight that was supposed to leave at 6 o'clock at 5.50 something. I'm like, okay, cool. It's like, okay, good luck. You know, you can be saying, like, okay, I'm getting up. Oh, yes, okay, something is happening at least. So I go in and I'm on step. Literally, when I got there, the flight was delayed by an hour. And I was like, why wasn't this, was it, why wasn't my flight that was delayed? Why wasn't my flight? Because if it was my flight, I was, actually, I wasn't going to make it a lie. I wasn't going to make it because the traffic in New York. Oh, traffic guys was insane and you saw they had that um, march they had the traffic <laughs> mind you me I did think of staying overnight like booking a flight and then stay overnight there so I don't stress but anyway anyway so the flight was delayed by an hour um, I got on, I got on back. So, um, literally, obviously, you know, if you're standbys, there's a couple of us who are standbys, including a dog. Um, oh, with the owner, I know. So, we got on, so we got on the flight. Luckily, I got my seat on the flight. I was so happy. Okay, it was a couple of hours later than I expected, but you know what? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I keep looking at my face. Um, I got the flight. I got on the flight and then I got back. So I was tired. Yesterday was just so draining. I was just so draining. Like, I literally, do you know, I always loved New York. I always like, oh my god, I love New York. It's one of the places I would just stay in. After yesterday, I was like, you know what? It's okay to visit. Like it's literally it's one of those cities that it's okay to visit come in for a little while and just enjoy the moment it's just it's just not it's just not it as much as i still love new york i love visiting new york i love it it's not a place i would live in you know it's really not a place i would live in i'm more of a quiet kind of place kind of girl i really love my peace and my quiet i do i love it but yeah, so that's what happened yesterday. It all worked out in the end. Thank God. Like, I was just praying. I was like, you know what, God? Whatever happens, whatever happens. You know, you already have this. You already got this. I don't know what your plan or you know what your plan is. So 
I'ma just settle and just chill and just let you do your thing. But yeah, I got in late yesterday. It was quite late and was exhausted. Like yesterday took every ounce of energy in my shame. Today is a new day. It's all good. I had some really um, kind of like not so nice news. I didn't, you know, but everything's working out. Everything is working out. I was like, I pray that like, literally every time something happens, I'm like, yo, yo, and I start praying. And I was listening to Tiara posted, Tiara Walker posted a video on YouTube for the first time in how many months, I don't know. And she was says she said something that really, really just like when it's 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 literally after I was waiting, um, after I missed my flight to New York. And she said, You know what? I uh, I am grateful for everything. She's like, even if anything happens, whatever happens, I could be in the worst situation. I will make sure I find something to be grateful for and I'll sit there and I'll be like, oh God, I'm grateful for this. And I was like, you know what? Ne? Most of the time we're always complaining, oh, this is happening, oh, this is this is happening. And she was right, you know, because everything is planned out. Your entire life is planned out. So why am I worrying? Like literally, to ask myself why am I worrying I don't know oh sorry that's good me like why am I worrying everything is planned out your entire life is planned out worrying about stuff is not gonna help just be thankful she was like so grateful something bad happens I was like okay thank you God for bringing me into this because you're taking me away from that and she was like I'm I was like I hear you I hear you, I'm going to start having more gratitude because I always seem to find, you know, when, when something happens, I'm like, oh my God, and I start praying and I start praying and without saying thank you first, you know, I go into prayer mode, I'm like, God, please make this go away or God, please do this. No, just be grateful. You were right, thanks, Tierra. I'm just going to be grateful because you know it. You know it all, I don't. So, I'm grateful. I'm grateful for everything that happened yesterday. And I'm grateful for everything that happened this morning. And for everything that is about to happen. I'm grateful. And that's literally it. So now I'm getting ready and we're going out for lunch. I don't know where we're going. I probably won't take it with me. but Because it just needs... I'm just in my zone. So, I will talk to you guys later. And then I come back I'm going to edit. Later.